Caleb had never been so far from home, yet felt so comfortable. In one of his books... The shit my teachers never told me. He wrote... I'm living a reality right now that seems so perfect. Doing meaningful work in an interesting place, surrounded by many friends, and I'm learning lots. I guess I've decided to write because I know it won't last forever. And it didn't. But for a little over two months, he happily spent time away from his camera, which was peculiar because storytelling was usually his very purpose of travel. Though in the back of his mind, this left Caleb worried. Maybe he devoted his emerging adulthood to something he was no longer passionate about. So I feel strange about my fil filming at the moment. I'm not sure if I'm totally in love with it. Sometimes I'm just having so much fun and I'm so comfortable that I don't want to film in a way. And that happened today. Had he been given too much recognition at a formative time of his life, which masked the attention as purpose? But just as quickly as he questioned himself, suddenly the world was familiar again. Same places, same faces. And the past motivations were called into question. I, I remember when you were really obsessed with the idea and we were in San Francisco and yeah, then yeah, yeah, you yeah, were like, yeah. I'm going to make only like a hundred films, yeah. right? Now it's 101, isn't it? 101. I just added like a little... <laughs> I like that, I like that. <laughs> Sounds better like a bit Dr. Zeus. You're like, hold up! <laughs> <laughs> but is that still a thing? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still a thing for So me. what happens after? you're done and you still want to create stuff I don't think even he knew the answer as the world was frozen around him with what felt like his whole future up in the air Caleb reflected since you said that you maybe don't want to be like a video creator in that sense what's success to you like how do you define success though? I like making videos but I don't want to make videos forever and I'm very comfortable for the fact that like I want to wrap that up and then move on to something else and I think I'll just feel successful if I create something and it's a big body of work and then I finish it and it might not necessarily be like the best videos ever but it will be very telling of like my growth of being a storyteller you know what I mean and if you were to watch like the movie that I'll make in five years time, then you watch the videos that I made, you'll see all of these things that I've been learning through the videos. So success to you is creating something that you're proud of and that you, that defines some sort of period of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think so. I think just, oh man, what success? I don't know. I feel like while I was overseas in Lebanon, people were so worried about me and like, did you feel safe there? Was it dangerous? But it wasn't actually until this day in Germany that I had all of my camera gear stolen. Very timely. Also, since I was talking about my future of video making, I had everything taken. I have no camera gear left. Now that's a good excuse not to make a video for like two months, but it's not a good excuse to stop forever. I got this book and I found a really cool quote in it. Success is going from failure to failure, defeat, setback, loss of camera equipment, with no loss of enthusiasm. And you know what? If that's success, I might just be the worst failure in the world, or the best, depending on how you look at it.